guys, this is Average Fragged Victor and we will be reviewing a niche fragrance from the house of Mancera and that is Cedra Boise. Special thanks to my good friend Tim for sending me this bottle for the review. So the one I got here is a 2017 batch and the nose behind this is Per Montal who is also the founder of the house of Mancera. This was launched last 2011 in order of phone concentration, priced between $100 to $115. The presentation is straightforward. It came with a tall black box with some texture to it and a label in the middle which has the name of the fragrance. When you open up the box, it will come with this pre pouch which is colored gunmetal gray and the bottle is inside. The bottle is cylindrical with a thick glass base and the juice color is yellow. It has the sticker label in the middle which has the name of the house and fragrance, the concentration, and the size. Though it's a 120ml bottle, this sits comfortably in your hand. The cap is the same color of the pouch and you can see the Mancera emblem on top. This is made of metal and a little bit of plastic interior. It has a nice heft to it but it's not that heavy. This screws 360 degree to lock into place and you can pick it up from the cap. The sprayer of this is colored black with a gray automizer and sprays out a single short burst but the mist is long and a bit wide. This op is up bright and very fruity with lemon, bergamot, pineapple, and blackcurrant and there are also some spicy notes in the background as well. Now I kinda see why people compare this with Aventus because of how the pineapple and blackcurrant are blended. Now I'm definitely getting much more out of this than Creed Aventus. After an hour, there's still some fruitiness in here but it's already toned down as this transition to a woody profile. You can also start to pick up some leather in the background as well. The further I down, the most prominent you get are cedar wood and leather with musk and moss in the background. At this point, the scent sits a little bit close to the skin. Performance is great on this 2017 batch. It has a strong projection for the first one and a half hour and it lasted on my skin for more than 7 hours. This is a really versatile fragrance that you can wear all year round, but the projection will really shine in spring and summer. You can wrap this dress up dress down for dates, gathering, gym, and in the office. Not the most mass appealing scent, but this is very easy to wear unless you don't like the smell of pineapple or blackcurrant. Any age can definitely rock this, not too playful, not too serious. I unfortunately haven't tried the newer version of this as there are talks that it was severely watered down but this is still pretty much a great gift idea. It has a simplistic, easy to appreciate presentation, very versatile scent and even though the newer one has a performance issue, you can easily overspray as there are a lot of juice in here. Overall, this is an excellent fragrance, 5 out of 5. The similarities it has to create the Ventus is only the blend of pineapple and blackcurrant. Other than that, this is a different scent, with leather, touch of spiciness, etc. It has a little bit more depth than Ventus in my opinion. Now, I don't want to comment about the talks of reformulation on this unless I get to try one, but definitely if you can get your hands on an older batch, go after those instead. So what do you think about Cedra Boise? Let me know down below and please hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. This has been your Average Fraghead, signing off.